Senator Susan Collins claimed to victory today in the most hotly contested and most expensive race in Maine history. According to the latest numbers, Collins is still just above 50%, meaning no ranked choice tabulation is necessary. And this afternoon, her main oppo opponent, Democrat Sarah Gideon, admitted that she didn't see how she could make up the ground. We begin our coverage of that race with Sam Rogers, who was with the Collins campaign when Gideon made that call. Sam? Yeah, that's exactly right, Pat and Cindy. Earlier this afternoon, Senator Collins getting that call from Speaker Gideon, a call that she and her supporters had been waiting for. Now, outside the Hilton Garden Inn here in Bangor, Senator Collins addressing her supporters, informing them of the news. Now, campaign officials tell us that all the negative ads and out-of-state money made this election the most difficult in trying to re-elect Senator Collins. And at the podium, she says she's going to be serving those who didn't vote for her while making history in the process. I am the first person since Maine directly elected its senators to win a fifth term. I will serve you with all my heart. I will work hard for you each and every day. And together, we will come together. As for what's first on her agenda, Collins says that she's going to be getting back to work to pass coronavirus relief packages with her colleagues in the Senate. Pat? All right, thank you, Sam. Now, according to sources close to the Collins campaign, they were hoping that out of respect, Gideon would publicly concede before Collins claimed her victory. Ultimately, though, that did not happen quite as planned. News Center Maine's Zach Blanchard joins us now with more on that. Zach? Pat and Cindy, the Gideon campaign clearly distraught by this loss as the race did not go the way it or the polls had planned. A clear victory for Collins, but Gideon says she's proud of the race she ran. After months of momentum, fueled by millions in out-of-state dollars to unseat Republican Senator Susan Collins, around our campaign in a way, Democrat Sarah Gideon accepting defeat. While we came up short, I do believe Mainers in every corner of this state are ready to continue to work together to make a difference. This despite recent polls that consistently put Gideon slightly ahead of Collins in the tight race. Just now, I spoke with Senator Collins. I congratulated her on winning this election, and I told her that I will always be available to help serve the people of Maine. Ultimately, that's why I entered this race, and it's why I got involved in public service in the first place. After giving her concession speech by live stream from a Portland hotel, Sarah. Gideon did not wish to speak to us. Would you mind talking? Driving away as she and her team were visibly upset by the loss. Thank you so much. Well, Collins celebrated securing a fifth Thank term in Washington in Bangor. What an extraordinary honor it is to represent the great state of Maine. Gideon's campaign was banking on the anti-Collins vote, constantly trying to align her with President Trump. Ultimately, Collins proved them wrong. The pollsters and the Gideon campaign drastically underestimating her strength on her home turf, Maine's second district. For Gideon, though, it does not mean she's finished the fight. While this election may be over, we have to work together to build a better future. Now, something to underscore here, it's not just about the money that makes this loss so tough. It's also about the national pressure. Clearly, neither had an impact on the main voters. Live in Portland tonight, I'm Zach Lanter, New Center, Maine.